<laughs> it sounds rude, but I'm really not impressed with our gameplay in these matches. Uh, I have pretty high standards, so like watching such old matches is, is kind of interesting. Against Leo specifically, I'd suffered so many uh, traumatic losses, for lack of a better word. There we go, there's the pop ball. For some reason, I always have an urge to stomp the ground. That's always my go-to. Hi everyone, this is Gavin or Tweak, and today we're going to be watching some of my best moments from Smash. Let's get right into it. Okay, so this is uh, Shine 2017, which is a very long time ago. So Leo and I were getting really good at Smash around the same time, and uh, and we met each other, and uh, we played a lot of Cloud Dittos, and uh, Leo was not a fan of DK, so whenever I would go with someone that wasn't Cloud, he would be uh, pretty upset. So I beat him with DK like a bunch of times. <laughs> oh wow. So we're at Let's Make Big Moves 2024, and this is the first ever Let's Make Moves tournament for Smash Ultimate. And um, I, it, I won, and, and I actually won last year as well. So this region means a lot to me. Uh, Max's tournaments mean a lot to me, so it, it was a great start to Ultimate. It was probably the first or second Ultimate uh, major tournament. Uh, and the cool thing about this is it's the start of my uh, Wario. Uh, I did doubles with Cosmos. I played, uh, I played Wario in doubles, and all the players we played against were like, Tweak, you should play Wario in singles too, because I was playing like Krom and Donkey Kong. Uh, but we did so well in doubles, and the, the players kind of convinced me to go him in singles, and I ended up winning the tournament <laughs> with Wario in singles as well. So this is uh, it's where the Wario started. I ended up using him for a long time. This is the Buzz's Palutena, of all things. The Buzz has also been around a while and played a bunch of characters. So uh, I grew up playing against the Buzz uh, and with the Buzz, so uh, I honestly appreciate him a lot. Uh, he was someone I looked up to and would play against all the time. He would destroy me when I was younger, so. Uh, and we still play against each other in majors to this day, so. I feel like that's a, a beautiful thing as a competitor. <laughs> People I've known for years in the background, like. Uh, it was a great start. It's crazy because. Uh, I'm actually the only player to win a, a major tournament for Ultimate every year of its release, because uh, this was technically in 2018. Right back into another DeBuzz match, which is cool, at Low Tier City 7. This is actually the first tournament where I ever decided to use Pokemon Trainer as uh, my main character, uh, and I managed to win. So this is a pretty special one. It's kind of a, a start of a different era of my life. and. Uh, being able to win it was special because I saw Pokemon Trainer was doing pretty good in Smash Ultimate, and I just had a feeling that the character could do even better. And um, it was a risk, but it ended up paying off. I got second at Evo, I won this tournament, a uh, bunch of top placings at, at things. So, and like I said, once again, like the buzz is right there next to me. Like, we can't seem to get away from each other. <laughs> Every game is like the same thing. It comes down to like one decision. It's kind of ridiculous watching back on it. I don't think I've ever watched this after the fact. So uh, this is kind of insane. We're playing on Yoshi's uh, island of all stages, which is a throwback as well. Pre-patch Pokemon Trainer, pre-patch Olimar. It's just a very different game. Oof. This is stressing me out. I don't even remember how it ended, so I'm kind of just like, <laughs> it's like I'm reliving it or something. Yeah, I think this is where it ends. Yeah, crazy. This venue was really cool. I remember, <laughs> I was a little embarrassed at the pop-off, because you just never know how you're gonna react when you win. And I'm a little shy, so. Crazy tournament. Wow. Me and Leo look like different people. This was our first time ever playing against each other, me and Leo, in Ultimate, in Tournament. And in general, actually. Uh, so this was the start of something crazy. Because uh, we've played against each other so many times, so many different matchups. Uh, we've gone back and forth, winning and losing. Uh, so this was a really important uh, matchup for me because we were playing against each other in Smash 4 for many years. And uh, we were both 
towards the end of Smash 4, we were the best players. And uh, I just barely wasn't able to get number one in the world at the end of Smash 4. So this was just a really important uh, a match. And I feel like everyone would have expected me versus Leo in the, in the final uh, match. So it meant everything to me. So it, it was the start of something special and like really, you know, trying to make a living off of Smash Ultimate. He still hates Wario to this day, I know it, so I, I apologize for starting that. It's kind of crazy. I, <laughs> it sounds rude, but I'm really not impressed with our gameplay in these matches. Uh, I have pretty high standards, so like watching such old matches is, is kind of interesting. <laughs> That was a pretty cool ending, though the the the, the weak uh, forward air into air combo. Yeah, that was a years in the making kind of moment. So very special for me. It kind of just kickstarted uh, all my motivation to keep it going. This is a special event. This this event had the uh, Ultimate Summit Three had the biggest uh, prize pot of any Smash Bros tournament, and it was also my first big tournament and a lot of people's first big tournament post quarantine because of COVID. And it was also my first tournament with Diddy Kong, um, who was a character not many people were considering like, uh, you know, relevant. And I took a big risk taking like a year to learn them. And uh, it really paid off. I, I kind of dominated in this tournament. And uh, to this day, Diddy is the character I have the most faith in. And it really kind of put me back on the map with uh, the head-to-head -head versus Leo as well, because Leo was so consistent versus me. But ever since I started playing Diddy, I've, I'm starting to make up for that damage. Uh, and it's, it's a lot more competitive nowadays in terms of like the record or something like that. Uh, so this is another tournament that meant a lot to me. I took a full year of not competing to focus on myself as a person, play a new character, and uh, it's probably some of the favorite moments of my life because it feels like it, it, it really, I just started fresh with Smash and uh, I feel like I became a, a new and better person. Like another cool thing about the ending here is um, I'm about to end it with the uh, F-Tilt, which is one of the moves that got buffed from Diddy which is uh, a little bit poetic, uh, Diddy Kong getting some buffs and stuff and using those new tools to, to win a big tournament. But yeah, I remember getting home from this tournament or actually waiting for my flight uh, and I was just at the airport. Uh, I was a little embarrassed, but I was just sobbing, waiting to, to board my flight back home. Cause I've been playing for so long and it really felt I broke some sort of barrier after this event. Um, and I just felt really grateful. My, my girlfriend was with me every step of the way, helping me deal with like, you know, my Crohn's disease and like supportive of my new character. And I, against Leo specifically, I'd suffered so many uh, traumatic losses for lack of a better word. Uh, and coming back post quarantine with, with that event and winning in such a dominant fashion just really helped solidify that the risks I took over quarantine were, were worth it. I was reading like sports psychology books. I was really just trying my best. I was working out more, taking better care of uh, myself and my disease and everything. So uh, it, I was just, I, could, I guess I couldn't wait to get home. I, I was kind of uh, just emotional. The thing about uh, Spargo that's interesting is um, he's really young and uh, I played Cloud back in Smash 4 and Spargo was actually, uh, not to sound arrogant, but Spargo was uh, a little bit inspired by my cloud back in the day. And Spargo really like added a different spark to the, you know, like the totem pole of top players in the ultimate. So uh, we've gone back and forth. We've had a bunch of crazy sets. And uh, I, was, I was happy to once again win in my own region, Max's tournament. Uh, it, it, it was beautiful. I, I, I ended up playing against Leo's Joker this event for the first time. So, once again, like, I, my relationship with, with Diddy as a character, as corny as it sounds, is, like, really special to me, so. Yeah, it's kind of hard to even pop off in this situation. I just look tired, like.
And I know I, I definitely know I am because obviously I felt it, but competing for a full weekend and traveling is like uh, basically for the for the health problems I deal with, I have the worst possible job in the world. So uh, being able to last for a full bracket and close it out is, is very difficult, but uh, there we go, there's the pop off. For some reason, I always have an urge to stomp the ground. That's always my go-to. Whoever made this video, thank you. It's great to, to go back in the past and see some great moments from a couple different games. I'm sure win or, winning and losing moments, you could probably make a 10 hour video. So uh, hoping I can keep playing for a few more years and have, a, have enough footage to, to last a lifetime. So uh, yeah, thank you to everyone I play against. Thank you to everyone making these videos. Thank you for supporting me and uh, yeah, have a good one.